have three questions, and uh, we have five minutes to get the questions and the answers. So the uh, first question is, the administration maintains that counterterrorism is a top priority, but why is the administration wanting a budget cut? Um, Mr. Chairman, I think uh, if, if, you, if you look at the um, annual requests that go from fiscal year 15, 16, 17, you'll find a significant increase in the 17 requests from our 15 budget. And the reason is that we received a significant increase in 16 under the Counterterrorism Partnerships Fund, an additional $175 million that we are working now to develop a sound process for stewardship of those additional funds, and we very much appreciate the Congress' support for that program. For 17, when we put together our request, we looked at what we believed it would be required to sustain those efforts, those increased efforts in, in 16, and we would determine that an $80 million request uh, was uh, uh, adequate for that purpose, and we, uh, in bearing in mind that we want to ensure effective stewardship of those funds. So we have the 175 and 16 additional, and then we've asked for 80 additional and 17. Uh, so it may appear to be a decrease from the 16 request because we're asking for less under CTPF from 17 uh, than we received in 16. But overall, it's a significant increase. I mean, we are talking about uh, the comparison of our request in 17 from what our budget was in 15 is a more than $50 million increase in our counterterrorism uh, capacity building uh, uh, foreign assistance budget. Okay, we're not reading the same statistics, or at least I'm not reading them the same way you are. Uh, the Counterterrorism Bureau wants 31 percent less money than last year. Is that correct or not? Well, I would characterize it as uh, our effort to sustain this significant increase we received in 16, um, and I'll put it that way. I mean, is it, well, put it this way, is it, is it 31 percent less than last year or not? I don't want to be argumentative, but I need a yes or no. Sure. The $80 million we requested is less than the 175 we, we received in 16 under the CTPF, yes. The administration promised in 2011 uh, that uh, – they would have a strategy to combat terrorist use of social media, 2011. Uh, when is that strategy going to be produced? Because it hasn't been produced. Do you know? Uh, the administration is working very closely I mean, internally in the United States government with the domestic agencies, the FBI, Department of Justice, others. Excuse me again. Oh, yes. Do you know when that's going to be done? Is this a strategy you're referring to from the State Department? I, I missed the beginning yes. of the question on online radicalization by the uh, terrorist use of social media. And we were going to have a strategy to combat that. And the President administration promised this in 2011. We don't have it. Okay. When's it going to happen? Right. So we have a strategy uh, uh, on countering violent extremism that we are prepared, just preparing to release with between the State Department and USAID that does, as one of its objectives, address the need mm -hmm. for effective counter messaging and counter narratives. Uh, and that is one of the five objectives in that strategy that is to be released uh, within the coming week. Within a week? That's the State Department, USAID, countering violent extremism strategy, joint strategy. All right. And the last question is, GAO reported that the CT Bureau has not evaluated its uh, countering violent extremism program, despite the Bureau saying since 2012 it would evaluate the program. Has that, when is that going to happen? Yeah, Mr. Chairman, thank you for that question. I, in, our, in our hearing last year, we discussed the importance of evaluation of CT Bureau funded uh, foreign assistance programs, and you emphasized the importance of this, and we have taken that uh, very seriously. We have undertaken a number of evaluations, including we have put out a, a notice of funding for a comprehensive third party evaluation of our countering violent extremism programs in three countries. Indonesia, uh, Kenya, and Bangladesh. That has uh, been out for funding. It's being awarded now, and we expect that that evaluation will be completed by the uh, end of this year. So the GAO, their answer, would, I mean, it hadn't happened yet, and your answer is that it'll be done by the end of the year. There'll be an evaluation. Yes. The uh, uh, combating terrorism, I think we can all agree to, uh, the fact that it's important because uh, terrorism is on the rise. Uh, tell me why we should justify the CT Bureau. Why should Congress justify its existence? 
try to keep it simple, if you would. Sure. Uh, I think it's a very good question. I appreciate the opportunity to, to answer. People often think of counterterrorism as a mission for law enforcement agencies in the domestic realm or for the military or intelligence agencies in the international realm. In fact, diplomacy plays a key role in bringing together partnerships and nations to address our primary counterterrorism objectives. We see that in the coalitions that we build to defeat terrorist groups on a regional, sub-regional basis or even a global basis. So the Global co Coalition uh, to Fight ISIL is an example. The Coalition of African Partners we've developed to fight Boko Haram in West Africa. The Coalition of Nations we've helped to develop uh, to fight al-Shabaab in East Africa. Those are just examples of where diplomacy plays a key role and the Bureau of Counterterrorism leads in a number of those efforts to build international will, political will and partnership and cooperation against these common threats. The other piece of what we do and we appreciate, again, the funding we received from Congress for this purpose is to help build capacity in our primary counterterrorism partners. In line with the President's policy of developing strong partnerships under the Counterterrorism Partnership Fund, we are helping to build capacity among our partners across the civilian agencies. So not just the, and our DOD colleagues handle that on the military side, but we help to build in, improved uh, CT legislation, uh, improved judicial capability to prosecute uh, terror suspects, improved border security measures, and improved civilian security agencies. All of those programs are, are um, supported uh, or, or, or funded through the support you provide to our bureau, and that's what we execute in our foreign assistance. So on the one level, we're working diplomatically to build coalitions to address our terrorism uh, challenges, and then we are trying to build uh, capacity in our partners to address those in the regions from which these threats emanate. Thank you. The chair recognizes the ranking member, the gentleman from Massachusetts, Mr. Keating. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.